Alright, so people of Tamriel, I am back with another error, and you might have as well guessed out. It's about Skyrim, especially about Skyrim because um, for those modders out there who like to mod their game, you know, to make it beautiful or just to add a few nifty animations. They must have already been through this error, but um, this is not that common and it does not have many solutions either on the web. So I know this one will work out because everything works out for me. Alright, so I cannot, you know, show the error directly because. I have already patched it but this is what it should look like so this is my actual screen a few moments ago as you can see it's 917 now and it's 96 in here so um, I fixed it recently but um, this is what it should look like though you have the mods installed though they show up on your screen when you play the game like if you have amazing followers then it shows you the book that mod includes in the book section and um, basically the mods work but um, they don't show up here or sometimes the mod won't even work so how to fix this you need to go to the registry editor so if you have seen other videos about this then you might already have the idea or if you are regular to me you also know that I use registry editor pretty much and before you ask what's up with my chrome so the one that's off is the downgraded version and the one that's on is the upgraded version and I'm running them both and this is pretty much a bug it's not a cool thing to have you can mostly get this with uTorrent because it upgrades itself to a whole new product and the later is just stored there and you have the option to you know downgrade or keep up with the upgraded version however your torrents won't be bothered so that's about this and um, the solution now you need to open the run window for that you can do windows and R or you can just type up run and get it so you run this you type in REG EDIT registry editor my all-time favorite and you hit ok let this pop up say yes to the UAC permission and um, what I need you to do here is this should look like this now if you're on a 64-bit OS it can be slightly different and more complicated for you and if you're on a 32-bit OS just follow me so I personally am on 64-bit OS so I'd be going with 32 ones right now so for the 32 ones they will have hkey local machine and software and you have Bethesda softworks right here and inside that if you have fallout or other Bethesda games installed you can see them else you can just go to Skyrim now in Skyrim you have the installed path what happens is when this error pops up it's mostly because the installed path differs from the original path so what you need to do is modify this by double clicking it and change this to the original directory how do you do that so if you have the shortcut you can right click on it and open the file location and for windows 10 i'm assuming most of you have windows 10 so you just hit here and here is your directory you just copy this go ahead and paste this right here 
and that's it for the 32-bit PC you can either sign out of your account or you can restart your PC to see the changes and mostly the changes are visible when you just like do this and go ahead and run your Skyrim and um, if you're on Windows 7 or if you are unable to get this um, this file destination you can head on over to Nexus Mod Manager you can go to settings and um, you can go to Skyrim and here is your Skyrim directory you can copy this and paste it right there also this error also includes that you have all these mods here everything has a tick everything has a uh, Hmm. All right, so what I mean to say is everything has a green tick on the installed installed mods and when you run the game like when you launch it with SKSE or with the other launcher that you get and when you come back here to see what's wrong they are all unchecked so yeah when you have these these stay checked but when you head on over to plugins these go unchecked when you have this error so that's another part of the error all right so for 32 bits that was the case and for the 64 bit pcs you can go to this thing wow 6432 node and open it up you have Bethesda right here you open it up and follow the same procedure you go to install path you replace this with the original directory hit ok and don't be stupid enough to hit ctrl s to save this it's already saved just don't do it and um that's done now if you still don't get it what you need to do is firstly you need to collapse this again and right click on software new key and when you do the new key thing you need to name that key but that's just softworks and inside that you need to right click new key you create another key name it Skyrim now for Skyrim you will already ha already have this the default thing what you need to do is make this one so how do you make it new string value now you go to string value and name it installed path now after you've named it installed path you will get this with this thing blank and again you can add your directory here hit ok exit it out sign out of your account or reboot your pc um, and get back to your game that will probably fix it so yeah that's it for the solution and if you have any difficulties you can ask me in the comment section below please like comment, and subscribe if this helped and also share with other people so that they can you know be benefited as well uh, and stay tuned for some Skyrim videos and I'm too lazy to make it and also I did one stupid thing that I tried to reinstall my game and I forgot to back up my saves so I'm at level 1 again but good thing is that I know uh, pretty much many tricks many tricks to keep myself alive and by alive I mean like top of my game at that level so if you know if you want to learn a few tricks if you want to you know comment a few more just stay tuned in for my Skyrim videos and thanks for watching